da, da. Is it live yet? Come on, baby, where are you? Oh, I am live. Hello. Good thing I didn't say something silly uh, than normal. Oh, I'm just going to flick off the Wi-Fi. Oh, the Wi-Fi's off. Oh, good oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. How are we all? Are we all good? Happy days. Let's turn the comments on. Oops, let's turn the comments back on again. Who's watching? Who's here? Who's playing along at home? Oh, there's a few of you. How's your afternoon going? It is pouring with rain here in Adelaide. Absolutely bucketing down. And Louise just said, is there anything better that we could be doing today? And I went, well, yeah, because I'm totally up for laying in bed under my quilt in my jammies watching Netflix. But on a side note, I'm also here hanging out with you. So last one for the day. Lou's made me a cup of tea. Um, so I, I am going to drink it while it is still hot. Oh, it's hot. Um, and, and I'm going to, we're going to make some cards today, but you could do this, um, little fun technique also in your art journal. So I'm just going to straighten up my camera. Sorry guys for the speed wobbles here. Oh, it's a bit ordinary at your place, Mel. Can't see the end of my driveway from the windows. Yeah, it's, um, it's a bit terrible here the rain on the tin roof is the tin roof is pretty awesome though so loving that okie dokie so what we are doing today of course is as part of the great international craft show we are we've got heaps of specials for you um if you haven't been online to have a look um you're missing out guys you're totally missing out you need to be on the website, I have got some amazing specials going on. Stamps and stencils are 15% off. Dies and paper collections are also 15% off. Plus, I've got some really awesome um, specials in our, um, in our show tab as well. So get on that. Plus Tim Holtz today. And we've reintroduced, again, bought back the No Judgment postage. So that is awesome for you guys. If you, uh, if you don't know what the No Judgment postage is, it is all about saving money for you. So what you need to do is with your first order, pay $12.50 postage. And then after that, all other orders that you do over the weekend, because I've got an awesome special happening tomorrow too. And just maybe there might be one on Sunday. Um, so we have got different specials each day looking after you guys. But the no judgment postage means that you can add to your order for one cent okay so postage is not free but you do have to pay 12.50 the first time but you can add to it after that so that's really awesome for you hey gaylene how are you darling all right enough waffling on natalienay.com.au if you're not there you're missing out um I am going to have a bit of a play today with some different sorts of watercolours and talk to you about some simple and easy techniques that you can do for watercolours, all right? The, earlier this week, I got this little guy in. This is the Mini Delight uh, mini, paint mini paint box from Altenew, Um the stamp and die set. So super inexpensive and on special so it's a win and i'm gonna make some really simple easy little cards out of this so it comes with the die to cut this guy out um and really really lovely so watercolors are great i love watercolors huge fan of watercolors i have lots and lots and lots of different sorts of watercolors there's plenty available uh in the online store so my personal favourites, we've got the Altenew, I think this is like a 2036 palette. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 palette. Apparently, I can't count. Um, this is probably my most grabbed set, the first one I reached for. This used to be the first one I reached for, and I still do love this set. And what I love about the Ganzai Tambies is, yes, they are an investment, but they have some metallics in there as well. And um, that's something unique that Ganzai Tambi do. These are these have a fantastic quality to them and a super pigmented, really very very nice paints. Um, I do love them. So as you can see, my set are very very well used. Um, we also have available uh, the these are the art by Marlene Neons. I just opened this set. I've decided that I need to have them in my life. I do love that they come with a brush, a watercolour brush, um, a little spongy thing here as well. Um, I also have these little travel set, portable travel set of Ganzai Tambies online. And they are like this. And because these are super duper pigmented, these are excellent value for money. You need half the amount. You also get this little pen if you are a, do a doodler and it has a water pen in here. So excellent if, if you are a caravaner, if you are a traveler, you are doing a road trip somewhere because let's be honest, we're certainly not flying anywhere. Um, so they are also an option for you. And then I also have in stock the Art by Marlene colours as well. So I'm just going to open the packaging of this just to show you what we're looking at here. Let me find my craft knife to tweezer that open without damaging the packaging. Alright, so these are a, a lovely little travel set as well. Uh, much lower price point, not as not as highly pigmented, but they will work. So this is the Whimsy and Bright. Oh, they're all individually wrapped. They have super cute little names. Bumblebee, Fling, Indian Summer, Ginger Biscuit, Wine Time. Must be close. Uh, Red Alert, Candy Floss, Candy Floss Whispers, etc. So they are a, a lovely little set, as well as the Bold and Brights are also available. So we have quite a few different ones in stock. Um, watercolours are exactly that. They need to be activated with water. You can use them in lots and lots and lots of different ways. Um, I'm just going to activate these and... Where's my water spray? Yes. And just do the little swatch that comes with it so we can have a bit of a play. So when I activate, I coat with water here. I do have a, water, a jar of water available right there. I'm going to grab a nice big juicy brush and some paper towel and let's test these babies out. I'm going to start with the yellow because it's the lightest colour. I don't know. And again, it's just a habit. So this colour is called Disco Fever. Oh my goodness, look at that baby. You better see that from the moon. That colour is called Cancel Tonight. Now, because it's a fluorescent... It is slightly transparent. Fluorescent colours are not solid colours. They tend to be more transparent colours. And this colour is called Poodle Skirt. Of course it is. And this colour is called Danger Zone. And finally, oh, I like the look of this colour. Oh, False Alarm, it's purple. Let me bring those up to camera. Pop your glasses on, girls. These babies are bright. How gorgeous are they? Art by Marlene also does some really lovely metallics as well. All right. So swatching your colours is super important. So I'm going to pop that aside to dry. And I'm going to do some stamping first of my little palette and cut them, cut them out with the die, uh, die cutting machine that I have here. 
Um, so these are an Altenew stamp. Each month they release a little, a little set, a little mini set like this. And I do like to get them in because they're so super cute. And all I want to be doing is I want to stamp a few of these guys. So I could use my stamp press, but I didn't think of that. So I've got a stamp block here. Just a little baby one. No idea where it came from. Class, class surprise, class supplies. All right. And I'm just going to give that a really good ink up. So I'm using the new black soot. Now this is a acid-free, permanent and waterproof, which means that I can watercolour over the top, most importantly. So I'm just going to cut six of these. Hey Louise, could you grab me um, a roll of washi tape, please? Any colour, just wherever. Oh, did I put them right behind me? I did. Yeah, I reckon I moved yeah. them. What was I thinking? In one of those things. Here. Gotcha. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to pop that back on there. Pop the lid back on. And I am using a little sidekick machine here uh, that to do the cutting because it is handy for being uh, online live on Facebook of course because it is small and compact and I'm also using a little a little die that I know that's only going to go through this um, sorry can't finish sentence uh, it's going to go through the, it's got a little gap here so this is how big the roller is for the little Sizzix machine. Now this pink thing on top, this is a little um, attachment that I use for when I use this guy. When I went to Arizona a couple of years ago and demoed for Paper Rose, I took this little guy with me to do all the die, die cutting on because it was a good little travel size. And uh, I we, we stuck the, the magnet on the top because it held onto my dies on my tiny little area that I have for I had at the event for um, for demonstrating on so it was really really handy at the time and it was just a little magnet that we got from Ikea um, I don't know if you can even get them anymore so I've just taped that little guy down into place and I'm just quickly going to run that through now i did have some little little sidekicks like this in stock but i do believe we've sold out of them so i'm going to endeavor to get them in again because they are super handy for little projects like this and there's my little die so i'm just going to quickly do a couple more yes i possibly should have done this off of camera but i decided to have some lunch instead um you know standard three o'clock in the afternoon have some lunch who else does that? Surely it's not just Louise and I. The day gets away from us. Wonderful. So I'll pop these two through and then I'll do one more after this. And maybe I'll look at doing three, three or so cards today. So this super cute little paint box die is going to look fantastic to give a gift to your crafty friends. If you want to send a card to your crafty friends. Or send a card to me, because I'm your crafty friend. I love receiving cards. I have a little shelf here um, in the Super Studio that I put cards on that have been created by you. I have one there from the lovely Lynn Simpson, who made me a card recently, and the lovely Susie Borman made me a card recently, uh, which is on my shelf, and... Who else has sent me cards? Vicky Booten sent me a card recently. Um, look at me name dropping like a boss. I can hear Louise laughing in the background going, oh, stop it, Natalie. Um, okay, so I'm just going to pop that on there. I've done three. I've got a couple more here if I need to quickly do some more. All right, let's make some painty things. What I want to do is something a little bit creative. I've got some plain white card and what I want to do with this is paint it. 
paint it, paint it, paint it. So let's pretend I have a little paint box going down here. Maybe I could do a little bit of a, um, a, a color bleed across the back. The source of paintbrush that I want to be using when I'm using watercolors, I would like to be using a, a, a brush that's going to hold lots of color. So I want to be out, or lots of water, I should say. So I want to have a, br a brush with a round head. So something like this. This is a round head brush. Okay, so let's, I've got the fluoros here, so I might as well use those. And I'm gonna be blending color together. So I don't wanna be using um, colors that are opposite on, you know, on the color wheel. I wanna be using colors that are are going to look quite nice and I want to use lots of water because watercolors are all about water so I'm just going in with some of this fluoro yellow and I'm just going to get it on there so again I'm not using watercolor paper this is just plain cardstock and I'm going to push the colors into each other I'll see if I can bring it up to camera and do it And I can't do that. Sorry, I'm not coordinated enough. This red's nice. But what I'm doing is, is being quite generous with my water, making sure that I don't leave brush, brush, brush strokes. And I want to push the colours around. I'm kind of letting them bleed into each other just a little. Now I'm just going to turn it around. Gosh, these colours are so bright. Um, and now I want to put one of these colours over on that side. And I'm going to go with the green. Um, I don't want to put the green, of course, next to the pink or the orange. And I'm moving quite quickly because I don't want the colours to dry. I want to use a, I want to have like a real wet look. It's like the socks of the 80s. They do look like the socks of the 80s. When I used to race BMX, <laughs> like Nicole Kidman, but better, um, <laughs> I always wore fluoro socks because that's how we rolled in the 80s. All right. So can you see how the colours have just kind of pushed up to each other and blended in next to each other? Um, I do have a bit of a line here with the blue and the green. So I've just got a wet brush, not a sopping brush, and I'm just going to try to do a bit of that and I'm just going to put that aside to air dry I don't like to heat set watercolors I like to just let it do its thing oops by air and I don't have a lot of room here on my desk so it's I can't put it down flat but I can put it on the floor next to me let's do that Natalie right so we've cracked out those fluoros and given those a go so let's have another go and do something else. Do a different technique. And I'm going to use the Altenew, um paints. Gosh, that was hard, wasn't it? And let's use my starred stencil again. So I used this in a class earlier today. So what I'm going to do is I use my water spray to activate my colours first. Make them nice and wet and juicy. And I'm going to use my... I've got a wider brush, as you can see, that's going to hold more colour that wasn't clean. Now it is. And I'm going to paint onto my stencil. And I'm going to do a bit of this. I'm going to use lots of blues and greens and these colours to paint my starred stencil. And it's totally splattering on my jumper. But that's okay. Mixing the colours together. Pop a little down here. So I'm going to use this as a stamp for my background. All right. So before I stick it down, I'm going to give it a spray and I'm going to do that just slightly off camera and grab my bit of paper 
I'm going to do this one on a piece of paper towel so that I can pick it up and move it. And I'm going to go like that, straight down and flip it and pop it down. And then I'm just going to squish it. You're not laughing at me racing BMX, are you, Tina? You used to race BMX too. No, because you're laughing with me, not at me. I get that. And I'm just going to let that sit for five minutes and dry. Yeah, my brother and I both used to race BMX. Loved it at the time. Look back now and kind of cringe, but, you know, that was a thing. He was much better at it than me. I can't be good at everything, can you? All right. So this time I might do a little, actually I might paint my little palette that's going to sit on top of that last one. So that, actually no, I'll do that after actually. Let's make some more watercolour backgrounds. Um, I might do a bit of a drippy pack background. So let's use oranges. Oh, Natalie. Cleaning your brush is important. All right, clean brush. Much, much happier. All right, so this time I'm going to do a bit of a drippy background. I'm going to go for a horizontal brush, horizontal card, sorry, and I'm going to just do that. So it's, you can see that it's quite juicy. All right, so what I can do now is just let that drip do its thing. Now, because I'm not using watercolour paper, I have to be aware that it might soak in super quickly. And I can guide it with my brush. Tap it. Or I can be a little brave and take my water spray and just give it some help. So that just kind of sprayed everywhere, but let's commit to it, hey? Let's turn it into something else. Let's turn it into this awesomeness. Right, next colour. And I'm going to keep in my palette, just moving across my palette. More water because it's not enough, not wet enough to drip. Mm -hmm. And I can give it a little, give it some help. I might pop the next colour on before I bleed, let to give it a spray. A light spray. I'm giving it like a really tight, light spray, okay, so that it doesn't um, spread up high. I want it to drip down low. I don't want it to, to spread up high. So the tip is when you're using watercolours is to embrace the water. And it's something that I kind of, again, bang on about because it's, they're watercolours. They're meant to be enjoyed with water and they're not going to work unless they are wet and juicy. And the last colour I'm going to do is I'm going to get some blue in there. So this is a, um, a lovely little set of watercolours as well. Having a good quality set of watercolours certainly pays off. I can't, I can't stress that enough. I do love them. They are something that I use a lot. I use them in card making. I use them in art journaling. I use them in scrapbooking. I use watercolours a lot for sure. Um, now, while they are sitting and dripping, I'm just going to go back and intensify because what I did, of course, was watered them down with a little bit of spray. So my purples lost its intensity. So when I wanted to get it to grip, uh, to drip, I needed to spray it a bit. I love this colour. I think I used that one next. Yep, there we go. There we go. And bright orange into light orange 
which probably should have been yellow. So let's add a little yellow to it. Holding it up on an angle and let that baby just drip on down. So keeping with the paint box theme, which is what the paints are. And I'm being smart, catching my drips on some paper towel. And now I'm going to pop that down on another piece of paper towel. To dry and do its thing. So that's three quick backgrounds there. Uh, and I might just continue on and do a few more here. So if I was working on a watercolour piece of paper, uh, let's see if it reacts differently. So it's just... Uh, just a, this is a heavy duty watercolor paper. It's just a scrap piece I had floating around. Not prepared. Do you need anything? No, I need to be, oh, there we go. We'll just cut that baby there. So there's a couple of different brands of watercolor paper that I have in the, uh, in the store. This is, I think this one I'm using here is the Reeves one, which came in last week. I also have a uh, the Expresset watercolour paper, which I absolutely love. I think this is the Reeves. It's one I've just picked up off my desk. Let's find out, shall we? And I might this time do a little bit of watercolour doodling. Now, I didn't clean that stencil and you can still see it's quite dirty from last time. So let's go with another stencil. That would be smart. Just as dirty, but there we go. So there's no reason why I can't... I'll use the Ganzai Tambies. I'll show you the difference with those ones. Okay, these big, these big palette that I've got here. Okay, so again, I'm going to activate it and you can tell how well these ones are used and what colours I love the most. And this time I'm going to use a thinner brush. So the brushes that I like to use when I'm doing water colouring, I've got these ultra new ones. This is beautiful for doing, um, these are really nice for doing a really fine detail so I'm going to let's just commit to it Natalie stop thinking about it just commit to it and I'm just going to because these loops have got a nice big um, a big big stencil area my lumps have got a nice big stencil area I can get in there and be a little bit fluid with it. I can I can relax into it a bit. If I use a different brush, how would that work? Let's find out. Okay, that works too. That's a very well used yellow. Let's pop a bit of colour up there. And I'll work through the reds, shall I? I think I like this brush better. I haven't done this technique for ages, so let's see how we go. So lots and lots of wet, wet water. Lots of wet water, you know, in comparison to dry water, really, Natalie? Lots of water on your brush. You want what's called a loaded, a loaded brush, okay? So I know that I'm going to get bleed under where my stencil was and I know that that's part of the process. Um, but I'm after something really quite loose and arty-farty. So let's lift that up. Yeah, okay, that's worked. Splendid. One, two, three, four. Let's pop that aside. And one more, and I'll do a bit more of a wash sort of thing going here. Um, now, I'm going to put the water straight onto 
the paper okay i'm just going to do quite a juicy juicy wash so the cool thing about watercolor paper is your paint is really only going to go where the where you put the where you put the water so if you wet your water first and i go in here with this gorgeous green see what's i don't know if you can see what's happening you get that gorgeous bloom the, the paint just follows the water So I've got a really intense navy there. I'm going to bring in some green, again, keeping with colours that are alongside of the colour wheel rather than putting in an orange. Of Orange will just make things really muddy and not at all nice, okay? It'll just go brown. So what I'm trying to do here is, is create a bit of a blue sort of background. But I can keep adding water. It's really not going to go anywhere that I didn't put water on the paper because it's a watercolour paper. Can it get too wet? Well, it's going to curl a little. If it curls a little, you can just pick it up. Oh, and it ran. All right, so guess what? We're committing to the full page. And because it is watercolour paper, and it's the, the, it means it hasn't soaked in, and it is totally, it's got that moverability, manoeuvrability. Wow. Look at me go with the big fancy words today. Paper towel. So doing a wash now, since I let that drip, because I held it on the wrong angle, I can build up the colors, build up my blues. But these are gorgeous to work with these paints. All right, so you get something really, really awesome happening there. So I'm just gonna pop that down on the floor now to air dry, and then I'm going to color the, um, color the palettes to suit my backgrounds. So starting with, going back to these fluoros, I want to now add some, I want to do something to go on here. So I'm going to take this little guy, bring my fluoros back, go with a thinner paintbrush, and I've got some colours here that I can just I really like these paints. These are a lot more intense than I had thought they were going to be. Tina, I don't think you are old enough to have raced against me, babe. <laughs> I'm just, I was just thinking, all right, I'm, I'm fairly certain that I'm like of, of ancient quality and and definitely raced back in the 80s. Oh, how's that wind out there? Crikey. It is howling here in Adelaide. All right, so I'm gonna pop that aside to dry. And I'm also want to, I want to add a few little splatters of colour on here as well because it's quite flat, which is fine, but I just need it to pipe up to just be a little bit more. So I'm going to just get my water on there and it's quite a juicy 
drippy brush and it's kind of going everywhere which is fine because it is a painty sort of page if you don't want it to go in a certain spot you load up your brush and you do that I think I need more pink All right, there we go. So this little stamp and die set that we are using today is on special at 15% off. And it's a stamp and, die, stamp and die bundle. All right, I'm just gonna peel that off. Are we ready to see how this looks? Ta-da, that looks pretty good. Still a bit dirty there. Probably won't clean it, who am I kidding? Um, I'm gonna put that aside. So now I'm gonna paint one of these little guys to suit that. So I want something that's gonna pop. Let's go with some of these and I'm just gonna do a bit of this. So have you guys enjoyed today? Have you enjoyed uh, a few little mini classes, a little bit different. I've got um, some awesomeness planned for tomorrow as well. I've got another four live Facebooks to do with you tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to be, oh, there's another, there's another awesome special tomorrow. That looks silly, doesn't it? Um, how do I get rid of that? I'm just going to, Dip the corner of the paper towel on the edge so that it tones that back. I'm going to use purple instead. Um, I Yeah, so we've got another range of awesome specials for you tomorrow too. So can't wait to do that with you. Um, I'm going to do another one here. So this one is going to be... On the drippy page, um, doesn't really matter what we use here. Let's go with, let's whip through this super quick here. Yellow. Orange. Red, or oh, dark orange. Oops, red. Um, deep red. blue dark blue so um, like I mentioned before the the specials this weekend um, are, are designed so that you can build on them so that you can add more things to your purchases um, you do need to process the cart the items are not going to stay in your cart over the weekend you do need to do individual orders each time but the cool thing is is you can you will only pay postage once so if you will if you want to if you see something and you go right i want that at that price that's a bargain then you need to grab it straight away process your order put it through and then we will put it aside for you until monday um i'm going to paint a couple more here because i did more cards um so we're going to put it aside for you until monday we won't be posting until monday you can order up to three kilos worth of items for only twelve dollars fifty so the second and third order that you <coughs> might do will be only one cent you just need to select no judgment at the checkout all right so that means that you can keep on ordering and you can take advantage of tomorrow's specials as well. If for whatever reason your order comes in over three kilograms, we will get in contact with you or we might just flick you a, a quick message or an invoice and just say, look, as much as we would love to um, pay for 27 kilos of craft supplies, 
And no again, no judgment. Um, we ask you just to chip in for the postage on that. Okay, does that make sense, guys? I hope it does. But yes, we do try and look after you that way so that you've got, um, you, you get great value for money over these specials and that you're not limited. Okay. And if for whatever reason you accidentally pay um, freight every single time, that's okay. We'll sort you out. We'll do a refund. We'll refund you for one of those postages. Okay. We'll look after you. And of course, you know that we love to um, wrap, gift wrap. Louise loves a gift wrap. <coughs> so we are going to make sure that your order is gift wrapped to perfection. Mm -hmm. So that it's like a little present for you. All right, so I have now created a lovely set of backgrounds here. A, lo a lovely set of, um, what did I do with the other one? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, I have done five. Um, a lovely set of little palettes. And I'm just going to quickly hit them with a heat gun because I just don't have the patience to watch paint dry. And neither do you. You've got better things to be doing with your day, surely. Oh, gosh. Okay. Come on, dry. I need to drink my cup of tea while I'm watching this dry. So don't forget to join the Natalie May scrapbooking um, creative community and share your projects that you create this weekend. If you love the gift wrapping, I want to share your little opening video. You are more than welcome to do that. Um, and all the orders that are placed today go into the drawer to win a prize pack. So we're going to choose one lucky customer and we're going to be adding that to your order uh, this weekend. Uh, are we going to announce who the lucky person is? Every day. Every day. We'll let you know tomorrow. We'll let you know tomorrow who the lucky order was for today. How does that sound? I think that sounds damn good. Okay, I'm just going to take off any excess wet bits on here because that took me way too long to do. Ooh, righty -o. What's the matter with you, Louise? Nothing, just smiling in the background. Just smiling in the background. All right, so I've got this background here. I'm going to trim this down to um, just take a little bit off the edges. I will, I will mat my cards on a piece of black to finish off. I will always do a black little doodle line around um, just to make sure that we get a, a great little finish on it. Um, I need to put a sentiment on this. So the sentiment that comes with the cards here says, use all the colour or colour me happy. Um, Use all of the, sorry, I'm reading. So it also has, I just noticed, it's also got a, a spot here. So if you were stamping, you could stamp each individual colours into that. Um, now, there we go. Let's get that in there. Get my black ink out. that on there and yes I do know that it is spelt the American way I understand that but I think that this stamp is just amazing so I'm going to do it anyway I've really I've, I've started spelling it this way anyway it just um, spelling and I are just not a thing all right bit of foam tape foam tape for the wind just to lift it up Crack it out, flip it over. Oh, what's the time? Must be getting close to a glass of wine time. Okay, quick little card. I'll do a black border in a minute, then stick it on a black piece of cardstock. 
Uh, let's do the fluorescent card next. Here we go. Still a bit damp. Let's take the excess water off. Water off. Find myself speaking Swahili. Swahili. Um, now, this one says use all of the colour. Let's use that. I'll pop that on there. Take that one off. So I really do love this little set. Use all of the, flip it over. Colour. Foam tape, foam tape, foam tape. You guys still watching? Oh, look at that, you're still watching. Gosh, I love your dedication. I very rarely put things on an angle, but I think that calls for it. <laughs> Number two. Number three is going to be this one. And again, I'm just going to stamp our title. Here. Bam. Phone tape. I don't know how cute are they? They are a little bit cute. Bam. Okay, I need to cut those two out again. Where's my little die cutting machine? Here we go. Let's do this. Pop that on there. Pop that on there. Plate, plate, cut, squish. Louise, can you go and write sidekick machines on the list of things to order in, please, to pop back on the shelves? since somebody ordered the last one today. Look at that, it cuts it out perfectly. Yes, I could have cut it out with scissors, but the stamp set comes with the die. So that makes it super easy. And um, I've just got a little bit of washi tape to hold that in place. Bam, bam, bam. Wind, wind, wind. And for those of you who didn't hear, this little pink thing on top is just the little magnet that I used to hold my die in place so I don't lose it. All right, done, done, done. Let's pull these last two off the floor. So this is the one that I did the total wash with. And it's actually dried up looking really, really nicely. So I've just taken, taken, I'm going to take the edges off because that was too wet. And, oh, get in there. Still quite wet apparently. Um, and I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. Me happy. Foam tape. Done. I love the wash on the watercolour paper too, Karen. I think that um, this has always been one of my favourite techniques to do. Especially if you're having a, um, you know, having some watercolours that you love to use. And, and having like an investment set of watercolours I think is really important too. I, uh, I just think that the intensity of colour is something that you, you notice immediately with a good water watercolour set. Um, you will notice, yeah, straight away. Oh, it's 
especially if you stick your thumb on it. Um, you'll notice straight away that uh, the watercolours, the better quality the watercolours, the more intense. You pay more, you get, you know, leather handbag, vinyl handbag. I talk about that all the time, but it really, really does um, show when you are purchasing something like watercolours. Can't, can't stress them out, okay? So what I'll do in a moment uh, is photograph, finish all of these off and photograph them. I'm just going to do a bit of a doodled line around the edges with a black pen. And then I'm going to photograph them and I'll link in the comments, of course, the products that I have used for today's live Facebook. You don't need to see me draw black lines around all the edges of these, surely. Um, so there you go. So thank you very much for joining in. We have made... This cute little set of cards using the Ultra New Stamp and Die set that came in uh, only a few days ago, and a great little um, a great little set of stamp and dies for using for little thank you cards, little projects, and um, something quick and easy. All right. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining today on all the live Facebooks. I've had an absolute ball. Uh, I'm ready for a glass of wine. Oh, excuse me, a glass of wine. My cup of tea is still sitting here. I'm still trying to get through. Um, but it's it's been it's been super fun. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. The Tim Holtz special will be online until I go to bed this evening. <coughs> the website will have the stamps, stencils, dies, and pattern papers on special until Sunday evening. Uh, there will be a brand new special going up in the morning. Okay, I don't know what time it'll go up when it will, when it goes up. Um, just yeah, when it happens. So uh, follow me on Instagram, Happy Ducks, Natalie May Scrapbooking. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, and we'll chat to you soon.